Right, it's about 847. Everywhere you go, it seems everyone is texting or on their phone, I right? Was, yeah, I was just doing it a little while ago, <laughs> trying to plan the day. Right. But it seems someone's always busy posting something. And I was thinking, you know, when I went on vacation a couple weeks ago, how great it would be to just go off the grid and not do anything with a phone, with a computer. It was great. It was a blissful week. But then I got back and found one <laughs> Bay Area couple who runs their business and their lives completely off the grid. Wow. Here in the newsroom of the future, we're surrounded by technology. Our emails and scripts and rundowns and such are on the PCs. Editing and graphics and visual aspects of ABC Action News are all on Macs. And sometimes we all still have to web browse on our phones. Face it, we're addicted. The interwebs, yes. I'm all about that. But not all of us. While the Nielsen Company estimates that 80% of homes and businesses in the U.S. have computers, with 90% of those online on the web, there are still holdouts proud to have stayed off the information superhighway. I'm, I'm happy because I haven't gone down the road. Pam Hopperton and her husband Bill are the Bill and Pam of their eponymously named vacuum and small appliance repair shop in Brandon, where things really haven't changed a lot since they opened on Brandon Boulevard in 1988. No, basically the same. Which means Bill works on repairs in the back of the shop while Pam takes care of front of the house business, the old fashioned way, by hand, on paper. No technology uh, as far as a computer or a cell phone in personal life or business. Which seems sort of oxymoronic when you stop to consider how much they have to keep up with, with changing technology parts and specifications. Oh, they've toyed with the idea of computerizing, especially when it comes to inventory. But in the end, it's been no. Thanks. I, I take care of the inventory, and it's hard to keep up with that on paper. But, you know, I still do not want to get into the uh, new technology of computer because that, that means I have to have more knowledge of... Uh, learning how to work the computer, spending time programming it. Add to that the cost of repairs, upgrades, security and virus protection, internet access and warranties, and, well, you can understand why Pam and Bill haven't gotten on the net and why they probably never will. It's tempting to feel left out. <laughs> but then again, I don't even think about it anymore. I just go, I don't need to do all that. A lot of people tell me they wish they could... <laughs> they wish they could get by without it too sometimes. Yeah, they do. So we got to thinking, how different would our lives be? How different would your life be without the Internet? And what would you miss the most? Why don't you visit our Facebook page or find us on Twitter by using the hashtag TV Today and let us know. I don't think I can do it. Yeah. I'm Be texting all the time. <laughs> it would be hard at yeah. work. It would be right. impossible oh, yeah. at work. Right. Very much so. The newsroom of the future. But I tell you what, when I was off for a week, it was blissful. It, it was is. really, really nice. And then I had to come back to reality. <laughs> and then you have a thousand emails when you that, get back. That was a chore getting through that, that inbox. Yeah. Right. Cool. Delete, delete, right. delete, delete, delete. <laughs>